Hey YouTube bro, what's going on? Yeah, it's about 9.07 a.m. in the morning. Chastain Park right now, I did a calisthenics workout. It's tough. It is, it is tough. But you know what? That's building that foundation, which I want to point into from the uh, title, the video. You know, pyramid training can be crossed over to calisthenics to running. Like, in running, there's a lot, many, many great coaches. They all got different philosophies. But the one coach, I feel like that just made the most sense to me, though, and I mimic some of his training principles and styles to my own training, especially, you know, when I was uh, preparing when I ran the marathon last year. Arthur Litterier. You never heard of him? Look him up. Well, he's, he's been gone for a while now, but uh, he was a coach from New Zealand. He also was a runner himself. But his training just made so much sense. It's basically just like, think of it. Let's see, there's like, I'm looking over there and they're like building some house or shed. And that's the thing though. It's like a building. You're building something. And one of the first things you got to do when you build something, lay a foundation. You know, that's got to be the strongest part because how is it going to be holding up? You know, when the higher you go, you realize gravity and weight and you know wind resistance all that stuff you got to factor into that what's usually one of the things on a very tall building you notice the difference on the parts what, what what's the difference you notice you notice that the bottom is a lot wider than what's on top right yeah like the, the pyramid the great pyramids in egypt they knew what they were doing you know the higher you build something, the stronger the bottom part is going to have to be. And the way to do that is you got to make sure that foundation is big, wide, and sturdy and good. And where and where, How does that running tie into calisthenics? Well, running, you got to do mileage, the volume, constantly, you know, over and over. Once that starts to get easy, then you can incorporate hills, you know, strength training, so anything in the legs. While still doing the volume. You get back down a little bit on the volume. After a few weeks. You incorporate speed work. Speed work. You could cut back on the volume. Because now you're stronger. But you keep doing the volume. Keep doing the you know LSD. Long slow distance running. And then you know more. Interval training and stuff. And then you're ready for the race though. With calisthenics. It's, it's the reps and sets. The basics. Of the exercise, you know, push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, dips, squats, you know. Then you do the fancy stuff, the muscle-up, the human flag, the lever, you know. Whatever. Because you can't do it all the time. You can't max out, you know, if you're also lifting weights. You can't max out on the bench every time you want to do ch hit chest, though. Even though it's more of a tricep exercise, in my opinion. Uh, but it's, it's, um, yeah, it's like, you're, you're not, you're gonna regress. You're not gonna progress though. Like you don't make a structure of a pyramid upside down where the bottom is really skinny and then the top is wide because what's gonna happen is it's gonna, you know, just like, you know, start doing interval sprint training prior and then do the long distance stuff to to a race no you gotta do long distance stuff first and then when you accumulate to that then you do you know the sprint training and all that you know like i think of it like you know i'm, I'm doing a piece of road race again and july 4th and right now the training i've been doing for running has been a lot of these stuff long slow distance running won't be till like march april that's when i start doing more incorporating hills and slowly after a couple of weeks so then i incorporate interval training though so then by the time July comes around, we're ready to go. That's all it, That's all training is, though. It's just sharpening your tool set, though. But to sharpen it, to get where you got to go, you have to have that building strong foundation first. And I noticed this with calisthenics, though. Some of the best guys, like, you know, like Hannibal for King, he's mentioned it, like, before you get to the advanced stuff, you got to do the basics first. 
and time frame that he said sometimes it takes years not like you could do it a couple weeks and no no it takes years you know that muscle up you know the the short clip that i uploaded back on january 2nd of this year you know how long i i know it's the camping but i was still able to get over the bar you know how long that's been taking me to do that it says then i mean i could i've only been able to do about three more right now if i were to go out there and try to do it i would not be able to do it though it took me probably, I'd say close to 13 or 14 years. Years. I'm not bullshitting you, man. I'm being for real. Years. So, yeah, just... No matter how long the process takes, just, just know that you're just going. You're just going. You're going. You're going. All right. But that's that's what I'm saying, though, with the calisthenics. Like Hannibal was saying, like, you know, like if you're gonna do the dips, do the dips till you can be able to master that. Till you get it down. I could take one or two years, you know. Then you could do the plant, <laughs> do the, the, you know, when you start to get strong enough. Don't try to like swing up nose like you do it, and then whoop, you're strong enough to do. It. Like for the muscle up, yeah, I still got to work on it though. I want to be able to do a clean one without kipping. Without using my body, without swinging my legs and using my body weight, getting that momentum to go over the bar. Because I did. You know? And once I got a little bit over the bar, it was just a matter of, like, moving the uh, my my arms, the wrist down, the elbow out, and then br basically going into a dip. So. But I want to be able to do it just hanging and then, doop, boom, you know? Or even able to do a slow one. And who knows? Maybe do a one arm like Magnus uh, uh, Mitbo, his name, uh, the climber from uh, Norway. Oh, I think he's from Norway, but crazy. It's just like, man, you see these guys doing this, and you're just like, is it they're just naturally good at it, or it's just, you know, hard work and stuff? I think it's also a little combination of both, though. You know, some people may take long. For me, I know it's when it comes to training. It's gonna take me a lot longer than most people, you know. And you know what? I'm I'm cool with that though. You know, I don't mind doing the the work that's over and over, mundane, every day, every day. But then when you do get it, you're like, yes. You know, I was ecstatic when I had that when I was first time able to get over the bar that day. I was ecstatic. It just reminded me of the feeling of running a mile under five minutes in high school when I first did it. I'm like, it it, it was just like. It just came out of nowhere. I didn't even expect it. It just happened. I'm like, and then, could I get back there? Yeah, most likely, but it's going to take me a long time, you know, because I'm not in that cardiovascular shape, running and stuff. It's just, it's just like, you're, you're right here and then you, and then you kind of fall back and then you got to get back up there again, though. And sometimes it may, may not. But that's the thing, you know, with pyramid training, though, you incorporate this with calisthenics, just like with running or anything, though. Yeah, that's funny. Now that I mentioned it, you can almost incorporate it with anything, though, you know, just getting certain basics down. Like the things that are just constantly that you repeat over and over and over, you don't think about it. You know, you just do it. And then when the hard stuff comes up, when you're able to ch challenge those, uh, you've been able to overcome the challenges and obstacles and stuff. It's like, boom, you get that dopamine hit and stuff like that. And you're just like, ah, yes, but it's always with the little things that you got to do first. All right. That's my take for today though. I know the little Cal six workout. I'm going to another park. Uh, I'm going to do some more. I'm actually going to probably do some more jogging. That's a little more jog friendly, that area. Uh, and then do something a little bit more calisthenic. So, but, Get some volume and again with the volume with the work. All right. Just another just another Monday. Monday, January 29th, 2024. Just another manic Monday. All right. Got much love for y'all. Peace.